Let's move into some running back ads, shall we? Oh, boy. There we go. My running back ad of the week is Dude, none other than one J.K. Dobbins of the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, I was so hoping you were going to say Naheem Hines. Oh, I was so hoping. No, no, he's not on my list. <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness. One J.K. Dobbins rostered in almost 49% of leagues, so available in more than half of ESPN leagues, had 15 carries for 113 yards, had another catch for eight yards, had a 66% snap share. That's that shit I do like. To Gus Edwards, 32% Ooh. snap share. Uh, on the season, Dobbins has 40 rushing attempts for 267 yards or approximately 6.7 yards per carry leads all running backs with at least 40 rushing attempts in yards per carry this season. Second place was Philip Lindsay with about 6.4 yards per carry. Um, Mark Ingram still out with a high ankle sprain. It's been two weeks. You got to think it's probably at least a couple more. Um, it's just he's incredible. 52 running backs have at least 50 touches this season. Dobbin leads all all of them in missed tackle rate per touch at almost 33 percent. Ingram is last at 5.7 percent. So. <laughs> Dobbins forces a missed tackle on about a third of all of his touches and Dobbins or, or and Ingram is like never what five 5.7%. Uh, he also has the most yards after contact per rush this year. He is tied with Nick Chubb at 4.2 yards after contact per rush. The guy is incredible. He should have never been dropped. I dropped Josh Kelly in a league uh, and held on to Dobbins because I believe that eventually Dobbins was going to get his chance and Josh Kelly had his chance, had multiple chances and averaged like two yards, two and a half yards of carry. So I dropped him like he was very hot. Um, I feel like I, I don't know. I don't think he's going to go anywhere. Um, it's, an incredible offense. You know, it's the number one as far as scheme goes, game to game, week to week. Um, double digit touches for at least mm. as long as Ingram's out. I'm could not be more thrilled about some JK. And honestly, what I'm really hoping for is that Ingram is traded before the deadline. But we'll see. Good luck. Good luck with that. Yeah, no, it's it. I, I'm good with that. Um, it, it's hard to put a number on him. Um, it is from 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 a fab perspective. I, you're you're getting towards the end of the year, um, so you got five weeks before playoffs start. Um, you want to let me read you that playoff schedule. Use. That playoff yep. schedule at Cleveland, at home against Jacksonville, at home against the Giants. If he's out there for 66% of snaps against those three teams. Yeah, but he won't be. And we know that because Ingram's coming back. They're, they're not going to stop giving him the ball. Also, I mean, Gus Edwards had 16 carries for 87 yards on Sunday, too. And I, I know you're looking at snap percentages, but I mean, Gus has gotten at least seven carries each of the last four games um, that they've played. So he's still there. Um, and they still have Lamar and once Ingram comes back, it's, it's just a tough backfield to get a read on. Um, you know, you can't tell me that three different running backs could be played in fantasy, but uh, theoretically they could, they have a really rough matchup coming up this week against Indian Indianapolis in Indy. Um, so you're, you're not going to want to play him honestly against that defense. Um, so if you're adding him, you're really adding him for a couple weeks down the road, potentially, and probably not this week. Um, I guess I so would disagree. I, his, his upside's there, but he wasn't supposed I, to be playable. Of, of all, he wasn't supposed to be playable against the Pittsburgh Steelers this week. And he averaged what, like seven and a half yards per carry or something 
completely asinine against him. Like, I'm just saying. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah, they, I mean, they ran the ball, what, like 50 times against them or damn close to it. Um, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, I, I, I get all of that. Um, his upside, if he's available in your league, I understand why you might go 50% of whatever you have left on him. Um, just, just to get him and hope that he's the guy that wins you a title. Cause that's really all that matters. With that schedule, he could be, especially if Mark Ingram, I mean, if you think about it, how many yeah. times this season have we seen people have a soft tissue injury, come back, re-injure it, and now they're out again? Like, that could very well happen. Uh, every, every player for the 49ers. Exactly. So, like, that, that's not under the realm of possibilities. He's also, you know... He's not as young as JK. Maybe he takes a little bit longer to to come back from it. I don't know. I'm just maybe they make a move at the deadline because I feel like he showed everybody that he could be a workhorse back if they want him to. It's just I don't know if they're going to because Mark Ingram is there, even though he's clearly, I think, the third best running back on that team. But yeah, I I don't think I would go more than 35% um on him if he's available um hopefully you picked him up if he was available like i did in a different league before uh a week and a half ago actually so i um yeah it, i'm probably somewhere in the 35 percent range but i i get and understand if you'd want to go higher to try to get him and and say that he's gonna be the guy that could get me over the hump especially because of schedule at the end of the year yeah, and I'm a, and I'm a firm second half believer that he was being eased in and the Ingram injury opened the door and it could be more than a 50% share even if it's not quite two thirds like it was this week when Ingram comes back. Um, I would do probably 40% push the chips into the middle and try to get the guy that I think could potentially win you a league uh, given that role. Yeah, I get it. If he gets the role, but that offense and that schedule is unbelievable. So if he gets it, yeah, I think he's a yep. league winner. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was.